This is a video demonstrating a trick how I can uh, keep the nested xref after I bound the top level xref. So here in this drawing called master.dwg, I have an xref A, as you can see, and that has a nested xref B. And I would like to keep xref B as an attached xref in this drawing while when I bind xref A. So first step is to reference, or if you haven't already, attach the extra B that I would like to keep in this current drawing, master.dwg, anywhere here. So now I have, as you can see in the tree, I have a separate object that's called extra B, although it's also nested under extra A. So step two is to rename extra B with the rename command. And I'm going to call that extra B dash old, rename two. Click OK. So now I have this extra B old, which is a rally a different name than what was originally underneath extra A. The next step is to open extra A. Right mouse click on the reference palette, open. And now I'm in extra A, which has extra B attached. And I'm going to go ahead and do a, actually do a save before I close out of it. Now back in uh, the original master drawing, I'm going to go ahead and right mouse click on the reference palette xref A and reload the xref because it actually changed when it did a save. And now notice that it went back to an xref B, but I kept xref B old as a separate reference attachment now. Last step is to actually bind that. Right mouse click, bind, and click OK. Now I bound the xref, and now notice that xref B old is still as, uh, kept as an uh, attached reference. And one more thing if you'd like to do is to go ahead and rename the bound version. And then rename this old back to the way it was as an XREF with that name. So I've completed demonstration.